mpya tutako surprise haleluya sawa si sawa aya
kukanga na kukunyanyasa
Everybody say hallelujah. Everybody say asante Jesus. Everybody say to the devil. Toka sasa. Mwambie shetani toka sasa. The Bible calls heaven the joy of the Lord. Biblia inaita mbinguni kwamba ni furaha ya Bwana. As a Christian, kama watu tunyokoka, when we come together, tunapokuja pamoja, we can have the best party in town. Tunaweza tukawa na sherehe kubwa kabisa katika mji. Amen. Amen. This is not only a crusade, this is a party for Jesus. Because our God is alive. He's real. He's powerful. He's love. And the Bible says that God sits on the throne and he laughs. God is joy. Mungu ni furaha. Isn't that great? Jamani hiyo sio nzuri. A lot of people don't know God that way. Watu wengi wamjui Mungu kwa njia hiyo. They think that he's a God that's full of anger and mad. Wanafikiri Mungu ni Mungu aliyejaa hasira na na hatari. And looks for all kinds of opportunities to strike people down. Na wanafikiri kila mara Mungu anatafuta jinsi awapige na awape mapigo. No, that's not my God. He's a God of love. Kumbuka Mungu wetu hapigi watu mapigo. Mungu wetu ni Mungu wa upendo. Let's go before the Lord in prayer. Wacha tuombe mbele za Bwana. Father, we thank you for this great night that we can come together. Mungu tunakushukuru kwa jioni njema ambayo tumekuja pamoja. Holy Spirit, you are in me. You're in every believer that's here. And from the inside out, you flow. We ask you to speak right now. Holy Spirit, move at this place right now. You are the miracle working power of God. You are the healing power of God. You're the one that gives us the anointing to preach the word of God. And so Father, through your Holy Spirit, move and minister in a mighty way. We ask you to do that right now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. The Bible Biblia is God speaking to man. Ni Mungu anaongea na wanadamu. If you believe the Bible, ukiamini Biblia, 
then I can help you tonight. If you don't believe the Bible, I cannot help you. This is not just a book. This is a record of the word of my Father. It has many letters that he has written to man. How many of you like love letters? How many of you ladies like love letters? Every day I send my wife something on my cell phone. I send it all the way back to Germany. And I tell her something nice and I tell her I love her. And she likes that. And she sends me back love letters, kisses to you too. And I like that. I like it when she says things like that to me and I say things like that to her. Well, the Bible has many good love things to say to us. Tonight, I want to read to you from the book of John. And I'm gonna I'm gonna let Bishop Charles read this to you. It's John the third chapter. And I'm gonna let him read to you down to verse uh, thirteen or verse twelve. From verse eight. John three verses one through eight. From verse one. Yeah, verses one. Kwanza hadi msari wa nane. Yohana sura ya tatu msari wa kwanza. Hadi wa nane. Tunasoma. Basi palikuwa na mtu mmoja wa mafarisayo. Jina lake ni Kodem. Mkuu wa Wayahudi. Huyo alimjia usiku akamwambia, "Rabi, twajua ya kuwa huyu mwalimu. Umetoka kwa Mungu kwa maana hakuna mtu awezaye kuzifanya ishara hizi uzifanyazo wewe." Isipokuwa Mungu yu pamoja naye. Yesu akajibu, akamwambia, Amen, amen, na kuambia Mtu asipozaliwa mara ya pili Hawezi kuona ufalme wa mungu Nikodem haka muambia Awezaje mtu kuzaliwa akiwa mzee Aweza kuingia tumboni mamamae mara ya pili haka zaliwa Yesu haka jibu Amen, amen, na kuambia Mtu asipozaliwa kwa maji na kwa roho Hawezi kuingia ufalme wa mungu Kilicho zaliwa kwa mwili ni mwili na kilicho zaliwa kwa roho ni roho. Usistaajabu kwa kuwa na kuambia hamna budi kuzaliwa mara ya pili. Upepo huvuma upendako na sauti yake waisikia. Lakini ujui unakotoka wala unakokwenda. Kadhalika na hali yake kila mtu aliyezaliwa kwa roho. Wow. And then I want Bishop Charles to read verses 14, 15, and 16. Tunasoma, na kama vile Musa alivyo muinua yule nyoka jangwani, vivyo hivyo mwana wa adamu hana budi kuinuliwa. Ili kila mtu aminie awe na uzima wa milele katika yeye. Kwa maana njisi hii mungu aliupenda ulimwengu Hata akamtoa mwanawe wapeke Na kila mtu wa mwaminie aspote Bali awe na uzima wa milele These verses of scripture Haya maandiko tulio soma Are some of the most important verses of scripture that you will ever hear Ni moja ya maandiko makubwa ya maana sana na muhimu Kuliko yote ambayo mewae kusikia In these verses Katika maandiko haya We find God's answer to man Tunapata majibu ya mungu kwa mwanadamu There was a man by the name of Nicodemus Halikuwa mtu wanaito Nicodemus 
This man was a religious leader. Kumbuka huyu mtu alikuwa ni kiongozi wa dini. He represented many other religious leaders. Alikuwa yeye anasimama anawakilisha viongozi wengi wa dini. This man didn't want to be seen talking to Jesus. Huyu mtu hakutaka aonekane akiongea na Yesu. He was afraid. Alikuwa anaogopa. And so he came to Jesus by night. Sushiku. I did some study about this man. Kumbuka kuna mafundisho kuhusu huyu mtu. And I found out that this man prayed seven times a day. Na nikagundua kwamba kumbe huyu Nikodemu alikuwa na tabia ya kuomba mara saba kila siku. That's a very committed person. Kwa kweli hiyo ni mtu ambaye amejitoa. This man was a very rich man. Kumbuka Nikodemu alikuwa tajiri. He was one of the richest people in this area. Kumbuka alikuwa na He was one of the richest people of this area. Ni mmoja alikuwa mmoja wa matajiri wakubwa katika eneo. But this man did not know God in a personal way. Lakini bahati mbaya alikuwa hamjui Mungu yeye kibinafsi. No one could be born again in the Old Testament before Jesus came. Hakuna mtu ambaye angeweza wakati huo kuzaliwa mara ya pili wakati kaagano la kale kabla Yesu hajaja duniani man had a relationship with god by offering sacrifices watu walihusiana na mungu kwa sadaka za mnyama walizotoa kwa mungu and all of those sacrifices in the old testament na masadaka yote ya minyama waliokuwa wanatoa kwenye agano la kale they spoke to man that there would be one that would come and give his life yalikuwa yanaongea kwamba kuna mmoja atakuja duniani na atoe maisha yake and does anybody know who the person is that came and gave his life. Inani ajuae huyo mtu ambaye alikuja baadaye akatoa maisha yake. Everybody say Jesus. Kila mmoja sema ni Yesu. Say Jesus. Sema ni Yesu. Jesus. Sema Yesu. Man waited for many years for Jesus Christ to come to this earth. Watu walimsubiri kwa miaka mingi Yesu aje awe sadaka. Well, when Nicodemus was there. Na Nicodemus naye alikuwa pale. Jesus was there. Yesu alikuwa pale. The Bible says nasema, that Jesus was anointed with the power of the Holy Ghost. Kwamba Yesu alikuwa amepakwa mafuta ya Roho Mtakatifu. Everybody say Holy Ghost power. Kila mmoja sema nguvu ya Roho Mtakatifu sema hivyo. Sauti. The same power is here tonight. Ile nguvu iko hapa hata leo. Because Jesus said we can do the same things that he did. Yesu anasema tunaweza tukafanya yale yale ambayo na yeye Yesu alifanya. With the same power with the same anointing. Ni nguvu ile ile na upaka ule ule. Jesus went forward and he healed the sick. Yesu alienda akiponya wagonjwa. Jesus walked on the water. Yesu alitembea juu ya maji. Jesus opened the blind eyes. Yesu alifungua macho ya vipofu. Jesus cast out devils. Yesu alikemea mapepo na kuyafukuza. Jesus forgave prostitutes. Yesu alimsameka Jesus set people free that were bound by the devil. Yesu aliwaweka watu huru waliofungwa na shetani. Nicodemus had seen the miracles. Yes, Nicodemus alikuwa anaona haya yote na miujiza. The religious leaders had seen the miracles. Viongozi wa dini waliona miujiza hiyo. And they said Nicodemus. Na wakasema, "Eh, Nicodemus, Nicodemus, why don't you go talk to him?" Mbona kwa nini usimnyemelee Yesu usiku ukaongea naye? Find out what 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 who he is. Hebu nenda usiku bwana uulize. Ask him some questions. Muulize maswali ana nguvu gani yeye? Muulize bwana usiku lakini. Jesus went or Nicodemus went to Jesus. Nicodemus akanyata usiku. Representing these religious leaders. Yaani hiyo inaonyesha njisi viongozi wa dini wasivyojua mambo ya Mungu. And he said master or teacher we know. Na akamwambia Yesu mwalimu tunajua wewe ni mwalimu. We know. Tuna that you're a man that is approved of God. Kwamba wewe ni mtu uliyekubaliwa na Mungu. Tunajua. Because no one can do the miracles that you can do. Kwa sababu hakuna mwingine anayeweza kufanya miujiza kama hii unayofanya wewe. Tunajua. You see God works miracles when the gospel is preached. Kumbuka Mungu anafanya miujiza pale injili inapohubiriwa. This is the reason that God is going to work miracles tonight. Ndio maana hata jioni ya leo Bwana atafanya miujiza kwako. He loves you. Anakupenda. He doesn't want you sick in your body. Hataki uwe mgonjwa mwilini mwako. He doesn't want you addicted to some drug or alcohol. Hataki uwe mlevi wa kutupwa mvuta bangi na madawa ya kulevya. He wants you to know a love that's completely 
completely different than what the world has to offer. That's why Jesus Christ came to set mankind free, to give man a new life. Everybody say a new life. A new life. A new life. That's why Jesus came. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so Nicodemus is talking to Jesus. And and Jesus stops him. Yes, And he says, Nicodemus. Yes, No one can get to can see the kingdom of God. Unless a person is born again. Nicodemus got to thinking with his mind. Born again. How, how could I be born again? I've already been born. I have a mama. I have a, a daddy. What do you mean being born again? That means more than one time. What do you mean? He got to thinking about his mom. He said, I can't go back into my mom. And then Jesus answered the question. Jesus said, that which is born of flesh is flesh. How many of you have been born of flesh? How many of you got a mama? You've been born in this earth, in a body. That's a flesh birth. But there's another birth. There's a time when God himself births himself into man. It's a second birth. And Jesus told Nicodemus in order to see the kingdom of God. You must. You must. You must. You must. Tell your neighbor you must. You must be born again. You see you and I. When we came into this earth, we came in this earth in a physical body. On the inside of a physical body is a human spirit. When the body dies, the spirit is the eternal part. And because of what Adam did in the beginning, when he sinned, a sin nature came on the inside of man. And it was that sin nature that separated man from having relationship with God. But God doesn't want that. Tell your neighbor God doesn't want you separated from him. He doesn't want that for you. You were made originally in God's image in his likeness. God is a spirit. You are a spirit. God is love. Do you know why he made you? You see, God doesn't just have love. He is love. Well, if you are love, then you need someone, some being like yourself in order to love. Do you know why God made you? God made the people of Tanzania to love them. He loves you. He loves you. He's not the author of the bad things. God is a 
is a God of love, the devil is a devil of hate. The devil is here to destroy your life. God is here to put your life together. Hallelujah. To give you something to dance about. To give you something to shout about. To give you something to hope for. To look forward to. Hey, God is a God of love. He loves you. He loves you. He loves you. He's not the one that brings sickness. No, that comes from the devil. Sickness is a curse. He's not the one that brings poverty. Poverty comes from the devil. It's a part of the curse. God's not the one that brings AIDS. Homosexuality. Drunk Goodness. The things that destroy people. These things come from the devil. The Bible says Satan comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But Jesus came. Everybody say Jesus came. Jesus came. Jesus came. Jesus came. Jesus came that we might have life. 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 My Uzima. Life. Uzima. That we might have the life of God. Hallelujah. 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 Tell your neighbor that's a good thing. We learned last night that that word life means the life, the nature, the character of God. How many of you know God's doing really good? How many of you know heaven is doing really good? How many of you know there's no sickness in heaven? There's no depression in heaven. There's no fear in heaven. And you can have heaven in you tonight. Come again. You can have heaven in you tonight. This new life begins by the new birth. When we are born again, we are born of God's spirit. God himself. Mungu, yule mungu Tell your neighbor God himself. Mwenzako, mungu God. Mungu. The good God. Mungu mwema. The love God. Mungu upendo. The faith God. Mungu the joy God. Mungu the father God. Mungu baba. The God that's for us and not against us. The God that's for us and not against us. He comes to live in us. Anashuka, alafu anaingia ndani yako na viatu vyake kabisa. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! He comes to live in us. Anakuja anaishi ndani. The one that created this world, he comes to live in us. Yule aliyeumba mbingu yote na dunia, anashuka akae nasi. I'm not afraid of the devil. I'm not afraid of curses. I'm not afraid of sickness. I'm not afraid. Because I got a big God in me. And he's not afraid. And he knows how to handle any difficult situation I face in this life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everybody say big God, little devil, big God, little devil, big God, Mungu mkubwa, shetani kadogo. Mungu mkubwa, shetani kadonyo. Mungu mkubwa, shetani kadonyo. Mungu mkubwa, shetani kiduchu. Mungu mkubwa, shetani kiduchu. Mungu mkubwa, shetani kiduchu. Hallelujah. 1 John 4:4 4, 
force is greater is he that is in me Baraka kwanza Yohana sura ya mstari wa 4 anasema mkuu ni yule aliye ndani yangu Greater is he that's in me Mkuu ni yule aliye ndani yangu For every Christian God is in you. He's in you. He's in you. If you're not a Christian, you can have him in you tonight. And this is what Jesus was telling Nicodemus. Nicodemus, you must be born again. God must come to live in you. And this is why I came. Na hii ndio sababu nilikuja. So that God can love, come and live in you. Ili Mungu aweze kuja kuishi ndani yako. How did he do that? Anafanyaje hivyo? Jesus said that there's going to be a day. Yesu anasema kuna siku yaja. That the son of man is going to be lifted up on a cross. Kwamba mwana wa Adamu yuaenda kuinuliwa juu ya msalaba. He's going to be lifted up on the cross. Mwana wa Adamu atainuliwa msalabani. Just like in the Old Testament Moses put a snake on a pole. Kama vile kwenye agano la kale Musa alimuinua nyoka wa shaba. The Bible says that Moses put a snake on the pole in front of the children of Israel. Mungu na Biblia anasema Musa alinua nyoka wa shaba jangwani na wana wa Israeli wakao naangalia. And this was at a time when the people were being bitten by fiery snakes. Na kumbuka wakati manyoka ya sumu yaliwauma wale wana wa Israeli. And those fiery snakes represent the curse. Wale manyoka ya sumu yanasimama badala yanawakilisha laana hapa duniani. Represent the work of the devil in a person's life. Yanawakilisha makazi ya shetani na mbalaa zake. And so God said Moses you just put the serpent upon the pole. Na Mungu akasema Musa kazi yako inua tu nyoka wa shaba pale jangwani. And anybody that looks on that snake is going to be healed. Yeye yote atakayeangalia yule nyoka wa shaba pale awe mzima. And you see Jesus Christ when he came to the earth he came as a perfect lamb of God. Na Yesu alipokuja duniani alikuja kama mwana kondoo kamili wa Mungu. But when he hung on the cross. Alipowekwa pale msalabani. He became the sin nature that separates man from God. Akachukua zambi zote ambazo zilichu ziliwatenga wanadamu na Mungu. He became the sickness. Pale juu yeye akachukua magonjwa yote. The Bible yote. says by his stripes we are healed. Biblia inasema kwa kupigwa kwake tumepona. The Bible says he was made the sin with our sin. Biblia inasema alifanywa dhambi bila kufanya dhambi. The Bible says he was made poor. He was made poverty with our poverty. Biblia inasema alifanywa kuwa maskini kwa sababu yetu sisi tuwe matajiri. For what? Kwa nini? For what? Kwa nini? Why did Jesus hang on the cross? Kwa nini Yesu aweke msalabani? So you could get God's righteousness. Ili wewe upate zawadi ya Mungu ile ya haki. All the sin would leave your spirit and you would become a brand new person. Ili ile dhambi asili ya dhambi iondoke na wewe pale pale ufanyike kuwa haki ya Mungu. Jesus Christ has taken care of the sin problem. Yesu alikuja alidunga sindano kuua ile asili ya dhambi na kuimaliza kabisa hallelujah hallelujah you couldn't take care of it i couldn't take care of it usingeweza kujiokoa nisingeweza kujiponya none of us could live a good enough life hakuna mtu ambaye asingeweza kuishi maisha ya dhambi oh but there's one that did lakini kuna mmoja alikuja akashughulikia hiyo there's one that lived a perfect life kuna mmoja alikuja akasomu hiyo there's one that never sinned yeye yeah, hakuna yeah, dhambi kabisa there's one that came and showed us god's will to man yeye yeah, alikuja akatuonyesha mapenzi ya Mungu kwa mwanadamu he came and he told the sickness to go and the sickness left alikuja na kaamuru magonjwa kuondoka na magonjwa yakaachia when he came in contact with peter alikuja aka aka kemea mavimbe Peter had his worst business day Waangalia na kuambia kuna siku Peter alikuwa na siku mbaya ya biashara iliyoporomoka He'd been fishing all night but caught nothing Kuna siku alifanya kazi ya kuvua siku nzima lakini hakupata hata kauda gaa kamwanza But Jesus Lakini Yesu Jesus Yesu Mr Prosperity Yeye ambaye ndio bwana wa mafanikio came along and he said Peter akaenda akamwambia Petro go fishing one more time nenda 
Wavue tena atupe nyavu zako pale. And Peter went fishing one more time. Na Peter kaenda katupa nyavu zake. And his nets were full. Nyavu zake zikadaa zikajaa so masangara. Many fish. Masangara na makuhe na manonzi. They had to get all the other boats to come and get all the fish. Akaita mwe maboti wa wenzake njoni msaidie njoni msaidie. And Peter had the best fishing day of his life. Na hiyo ndio siku Peter alipata siku ya kuvua samaki nyingi katika maisha yake. That's why Jesus came. Ndio maana Yesu alikuja. To break the curse. Avunje laana. To bring the blessing. Akupe baraka. To give us a new life. Akupe uzima mpya. To give us a way where God can live in us. Atengeneze njia Mungu aishi ndani yako. He was lifted on the pole. Alikuwa amenuliwa juu msalabani. He was made sin. Akafanywa kuwa dhambi kule msalabani. He was beaten with the Roman whip. Akapigwa na na fimbo za warumi. For our sickness. Kwa ajili ya magonjwa yetu. He was naked. Everything was gone. He Ali, was poor. Aliachwa mtupu pale. Kila kitu kilikuwa kimeondoka kufanywa kama maskini. So we could be righteous, healed and rich. Hallelujah. Ni sisi tuwe na haki ya Mungu, tuponywe na tuwe na baraka za Mungu. Hallelujah. And God can live in us. Ili Mungu aishi ndani yetu. God God can live in us. Ili Mungu afanye makao ndani yetu. And this is what I offer you tonight. Na jioni ya leo nataka nikupe nafasi hiyo. You must. Ni lazima. You must. Ni lazima. Tell your neighbor you must. Tikisa mtu mwambie ni lazima. You must be born again. Mwambie lazima uzaliwe mara ya pili. God wants to live in you. Kwa sababu Mungu anataka aishi ndani yako. He doesn't ndaniya. want you to go to hell. Hataki uende jehanamu. And he made it so simple. Na amefanya hiyo ifanyike kwa rahisi kabisa. That if you believe in Jesus. Yaani ni kumwamini tu Yesu. You confess him as your Lord. Na kukiri kwamba ni bwana. You believe he died for you. Na kuamini kwamba alikufa kwa jina. You believe he resurrected. Unaamini alifufuka. You confess that you speak it out. Unasema hivyo na unatamka. God. Mungu. Love. Upendo. Father. Baba. Heaven. Mbingu. Life. Uzima, maisha, Holy Spirit. Rom takatifu. Joy. Furaha. Peace. Amani. Healing. Uponyaji. Will come in you. Vinakuja vinaishi ndani. And you'll be a brand new person. Na unakuwa kiumbe kipya. I want everybody to close their eyes right Asuma now. Asimama kwa miguu yako kila mmoja na ufunike. I want you to stand up right now. Simama kila mmoja popote ulipo na ufunike macho yako. And I want everybody to close their eyes. Nataka kila mmoja ufumbe macho yako sasa. Those of you that are in the back if you could come forward a little bit. This is very important. This is why we're here. This is what the dancing is all about. The singing is all about. Yes, I'm going to pray for the sick. And people will be healed tonight just like last night and the night before. But what good would it be if I would pray for you and get you healed? But you didn't receive Jesus and spend eternity in hell when you died. Alafu unaenda bila kuokoka alafu uende jehanamu ukifa ina faida gani? God doesn't want you to go to hell. Mungu hataki uende jehanamu. But if you hold on to the sin, lakini ukiendelea kushikilia dhambi zako, the sin nature that separates you from God, dhambi ile ya asili iliyo kutenga na Mungu, God has no choice. Mungu hana chaguo. He sent you the answer. Ameshakupa jibu. And that's Jesus Christ. Jibu ni Yesu Kristo. He's the way. Yeye He's the way. He's the way. He's the truth. He's the life. I want you to close your eyes. And I want you to think about the things that I've said tonight. Nobody looking around. This is not between you and your neighbor. Wala usiangalie jirani anasema nini anafanya nini. This is not between you and your wife, you Wala and your husband. Mimi wangu atasemaje, mimi wangu mke wangu anasemaje. You and your friends? Wala achana na mambo ya rafiki anawaza nini. You and your kids? Sijui watoto wangu nao watasemaje. This is between you and God. Kumbuka hapa sasa ni wewe na Mungu aliyekuumba. And what I am going to pray for you tonight? Na kile ninachoenda kuomba kwako jioni leo. I prayed the same prayer. Nataka niombe vile vile. Bishop Charles prayed the same prayer. Na Scoff Charles ya 
Nicodemus was a religious man but he didn't know God it's not religion it's not going to church it's knowing God in a personal way by accepting his answer and that's Jesus Christ he is your answer so I want you to close your eyes now nobody look around give respect person if you're here tonight don't know that if you were to die right now don't know for sure that if you were to die right now that you would go to heaven you don't know that for sure you don't know for sure that God is your father that he lives in you you don't know that your sins are forgiven you don't know that. How do you? Think about this right now. You don't know that. How do you? And you want this answer, Jesus Christ. You want to know for sure tonight. Tonight you can know 100% for sure. That you're going to go to heaven when you die. I want you to lift your hand right now. If you don't know that for sure, lift your hand right now. Thank you. Many of you raising your hand. Thank you. Many of you, many of you in the back. Thank you. Thank you. This is the most important decision in your life. This is number one. More important than getting married, a job, anything. Those of you who are I like to look with, at people when I pray with them. Because this is so important. I want you to work your way to the front. All of you that lifted your hand, come right here. And don't you let anybody talk you into coming. Thank you, Lord. Keep coming. All of you that lifted your hand, keep coming. This is the most important decision. This is it. This is it. I received Jesus when I was seven years old. This is it. You want to know? Thank you, sir. You want to know for sure tonight? Know for sure. Teenagers, adults, you want to know for sure tonight? This is what Charles Jindalison is all about. Jesus Christ. He can be in the world doing all these things. Singing for Jesus. Traveled 32 hours to get here. God told me, you go to Tanzania and you tell the people I love them. You tell the people how they can have relationship with me. They're not paying me anything to do this. I came at my own expense. Because I love you. And I want to give you the message that changed my life. It'll change your life. Anybody else, you lifted your hand. If you lifted your hand and you're not down here, please come right now. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you,
Na vilio vyao vitakuwa nilisikia mbili. Niliambiwa, niliambiwa lakini nikakataa. Please make the right decision tonight. Hebu njoo haraka wacha kuanshangaa shangaa na kuangalia wenzako. Thank you sir. I'm going to give just a little bit longer. Asante, nataka nikupe nafasi tena. Any of you in the back, please come up here. I want to pray with you right now. Nani amebaki kule? Njoo haraka. Mungu anakupenda. Ask your neighbor, do you know for sure? Muulize jirani yako hivi wewe ukifa leo. Everybody ask their neighbor, do you know for sure? Muulize wewe ukifa leo wewe utaenda wapi? Do you know you're going to go to heaven? Muulize wewe wewe umetubu lini wewe? Wewe muongea na mtu, mwambie. You might say, "Oh, I, you don't know what I've done, preacher." Unaweza ukasema, "Ah, mhubiri hujui." There's no way that God would forgive me. Unajua Mungu hawezi kunisamehe mimi nimefanya madhambi mengi bwana. I got news for you. Nina habari kwako. There are really bad sinners kuna wenye dhambi wabaya There are many bad sinners in the Bible Hata kwenye Biblia kuna waliokuwa wenye dhambi wakubwa kabisa But they were forgiven Lakini Yesu aliwasamehe They were forgiven Dhambi zao zilisamehewa Nobody goes to hell because of what they've done Hakuna mtu atakayeenda jehanamu kwa sababu ya dhambi alizofanya They go to hell because they reject God's answer Jesus Christ Wataenda jehanamu kwa sababu walikataa jibu la Yesu Kristo walimkataa Yesu kwa bwana When you receive Jesus tonight Pokea Yesu leo Everything bad leaves your life Malaana yote na mabalaa atakuacha. You become a brand new person. Utafanyika kuwa kiumbe kipya. Your spirit is brand new. Roho yako ni mpya. God makes you righteous. Mungu anakufanya kuwa haki. Because you accept Jesus his answer. Kwa sababu umepokea Yesu jibu la Mungu. Anybody else tonight? Nani mwingine? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. I want to come down here. Sawa, nataka nishuke hapo. Hallelujah. Wow, I'm so glad. Oh, na furaha kabisa. To get to pray this prayer with each one of you. Ili muombe maombi haya. God loves every one of you. Mungu anapenda kila mmoja wenu. And I'm going to pray a simple prayer. Naenda kuomba maombi rais kabisa. In English. Kwa Kiingereza. Bishop Charles is going to pray in Swahili. Na askofu Charles ataomba kwa Kiswahili. And then you pray with him. Na nyie mtafuata kwa Kiswahili. From your heart. Ombeni kutoka mioyoni mwenu. You pray not just from your head, from your heart. Ombeni sio tu kutoka kichwani lakini mioyoni. And what I preached about tonight. Na kile nilichohubiri jioni ya leo is going to happen. Kitatokea kwenu. God will come in you. Mungu atakuja kwenu. And you'll be a brand new person. Na nyinyi mtafanyika viumbe vipya. And from this night forward everything's going to change. Na kutoka leo kila kitu kitabadilika. Isn't that wonderful? Si ni sawa jamani. I'm so glad sir you came forward tonight. Nafurahi ndugu leo jioni umekuja kwa Yesu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Every one of you I'm so glad you came forward. Ninapowaona mnafurahi kwamba mmekuja kwa Yesu. Tengenezeni mic vizuri. If we could take the monitor out that would be great. Hallelujah. Pray this with me. Ombeni hivi. God, I come to you tonight. Baba, nakuja kwako jioni ya leo. Sema hivi. I believe in you. Ninakuamini. And I believe in your son Jesus Christ. Ninamwamini mwanao Yesu Kristo. Jesus Yesu You died for me. Ulikufa kwa ajili yangu. You died on a cross. Ulikufa msalabani. You became sin for me. Ulifanyika dhambi kwa ajili yangu. And I thank you. Ninakushukuru. Jesus, you went to hell for me. Yesu ulikwenda jehanamu kwa niaba yangu. And I thank you. Ninakushukuru. And Jesus you resurrected from the dead. Yesu ulifufuka kutoka kwa wafu. And I thank you. Ninakushukuru. And Jesus? Yesu. You're now my Lord. Wewe ni bwana wangu. You're my savior. Mwokozi wangu. I'm born again. Nimeokoka. Wow. 
Wow, let's thank the Lord for what just happened. Hallelujah. 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 Never forget this. God lives in me now. He's not just out here. Yes, He's in you. God is in you. And as you learn the Bible, it's important. Learn the Bible. The Bible is not just a book. Biblia sio kitabu cha kawaida. It's a love letter. Ye, Biblia ni barua ya upendo. Many wonderful things. Humo ndani ya Biblia kuna mambo wonderful mengi mazuri. Wonderful letters that he's written Barua za maana sana kwako zimeandikwa. And it'll huko. help you to know who you are. Itakusaidia kujua wewe ni nani hasa. In Christ. Ndani ya Kristo wewe una nafasi gani? Who you become as a Christian. Itakusaidia kujua umeokoka umekuwa umeku, umeku nani. It has many good things to say to you. Biblia ina mambo mengi mazuri ya kuongea kabisa. When you read the Bible, unaposoma Biblia Read it like this is God speaking to me. Soma ukijua hii ni Mungu anaongea na mimi. Sauti jamani tuna sauti. Tengeneza mnatoa tu hai. Go to a good church. Naenda kwenye kanisa zuri. That teaches the Bible. Ambalo linafundisha wokovu Biblia vizuri. They teach you who you are. They teach you good things. Watakufundisha wewe ni nani na watakufundisha vitu vya maana vya wokovu. And I promise you. Na mimi nakuahidi. If I would come back in a year kama nikirudi tena mwakani you come to me njo uniambie and you say wow god did this and this and this and this utakuja kuniambia ushuhuda mungu alinitendea moja mbili tatu baada ya kuokoka because as you learn god's word kwa sababu neno la mungu wa maseme na utakofundishwa then god himself starts living his life through you mungu anaanza kuishi wewe unapoteza maisha mungu anaishi ndani yako na baraka zake i promise you it's a good life ninakuahidi hii ni maisha mazuri i'm not going to tell you there won't be problems mimi sikwambii kwamba hautapata shida but i will tell you this God will always be there to answer those problems. Kila tatizo likija, Mungu atakuwa anaondoa na kulitatua. The Bible always has the answers. Kila siku Biblia ina majibu yako. Isn't that great? Jamani hiyo si ya maana. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's some people here. Kuna watu hapa. Follow them. Wewe wafuate tu watu hao. And they have something for you. Na watakwambia mambo ya msingi sana. And then if you need healing in your body, na kama utahitaji uponyaji, you can come back utarudi tutapoombea wagonjwa and i'll pray for you just like i'm praying for the other people Nita, for you nitaomba na wewe kama vile ninavyoombea watu wengine okay ni sawa jamani hallelujah everybody hallelujah. say thank you jesus jina moja sema asante yesu thank you jesus sema asante yesu thank you jesus sema asante yesu i love you ninakupenda yesu god loves you mungu anakupenda i'm so excited about Nime your new life kabisa umepata maisha mapya amen 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 haya fuata yule mtu fuata yule mtu wote nende mtu wote hebu ni kuna wale waliokoka jana na wale ambao wamekoka jana na omba wafuatane na hawa na juzi na juzi na omba basi wote tupatane na hawa waliokoka jana na juzi na omba tupatane na hawa asante all right i'm going to pray for those that need physical healing in their bodies sasa tunakwenda kuomba kwa wale ambao wanahitaji maombi ya wagonjwa If you need healing in your body Unasikia unaumwa unataka kupona I would like you to come up here Njoa hapa mbele And I want to pray for you tonight Na mimi nitakuombea jioni ya leo If you have pain in your body Anza kutembea kama unaumwa I want to pray for you Njoa tuombe If you have tumors in your body Sijui una uvimbe una nini I want to pray for you. Tutakuombea. If the doctors have given you a bad report. Kama una daktari amekwambia utakufa na 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 ma report mabaya. I want to pray for you. Mimi nitaomba na wewe tu. God has a good report. Mungu ana ripoti nzuri. God says. Mungu anasema njoo ni wagonjwa. We are healed. Anasema tumeponywa. Through what Jesus did for us. Kwa kile Yesu amefanya katika maisha yetu. The first time that I ministered with Bishop Charles. Kuna wakati nilipokuja Dar es Salaam kuhubiri kwenye kanisa la Scoff Charles. We had a woman that had never spoke before. Tulikuwa na bubu mwanamke ambaye alikuwa hajawahi kuongea. She had never heard before. Yeye alikuwa hajawahi kusikia wala kuongea. She was completely healed. Yeye aliponywa. Today she can speak. Leo anaweza kuongea. She can hear. Leo anasikia. 
Tumors go when we pray. Kumbuka tunapoomba hata mauvimbe yanaondoka. Cancers are cursed and they die when we pray. Masaratani yanakauka na yanakufa tunapoomba. Legs straighten up, cripples walk. Miguu iliyokunjamana vipuvi wete wanatembea. I was just in the Philippines. Kumbuka nilikuwa kule Filipini. And a lady that had not walked kuna mwanamke ambaye alikuwa hajawahi kutembea for five months kwa miezi mitano was completely healed akaponywa kabisa that's god huyo ndio mungu we. that's our god huyo ndiye mungu he's a healing god yeye ni mungu anayeponya when i was in uganda nilipokuwa pale uganda a few months ago miezi michache iliyopita two women that were blind kuna wanawake wawili waliokuwa vipofu were completely healed wakapona wakaona that's our god huyo ndiye mungu tunayemtumikia that's our god huyo ni mungu tunayemtumikia i'm not god mimi nampenda mungu i'm his son na mimi ni mwanae wa kiume na ni familia yake If you receive Jesus you're his son or his daughter Mbuka unapookoka tu unakuwa umeingia kwenye familia ya Mungu And you can do the same things that I do Na unaweza ukafanya hivyo hivyo ninavyofanya Hallelujah Hallelujah All right who has pain in their body Wangapi wanasikia wanaumwa maumivu You have pain in your body Naumwa All right anybody else out here you have pain in your body Nyie wa nyuma nani anaumwa You do not have to leave this service tonight sick in your body. Usikubali kuondoka mkutano huu jioni ukiwa mgonjwa. Fevers. Magonjwa ya homa. There are fevers that are going to leave tonight. Kuna magonjwa ya homa yatawaachia. It's going to go tonight. Yataondoka jioni ya leo. Some kind of virus, some type of bad bacteria in your body is going to leave you tonight. Kuna aina mbalimbali mbaya ya virusi na vijidudu lazima viondoke vikuache jioni ya leo. Who here tonight? Nani yuko hapa jioni ya leo? You are being tormented by fear. Ambaye hofu inakushika sana unaogopa sana. You cannot sleep. Hata kulala huwezi kulala hofu imejaa. There's somebody here tonight you've been waking up terrorized in fear. Kuna mtu hapa ukilala unagandamizwa hovyo hovyo unaogopa huwezi kulala vizuri. You're afraid to go to sleep. Hata ukulala kwenda kitandani unaogopa maana wanaku Because every time you do you get attacked by fear. Maana ukifika tu hapo tayari vinakuja vimtu vilivyokufa vinakushitua vinakufinyanga finyanga. I'm going to pray for you tonight. Nataka nikuombee kama uko hapa. And you're going to be set free. Na lazima uwekwe huru. Tonight is your night. Usiku wa leo ni siku yako. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right, those of you that have pain in your body. Haya nyinyi mnaumwa. I want you to put your hand as close to where the pain is. Mimi Mungu na uweke mkono wako panapokuuma. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you Lord. Asante Yesu. There's somebody that has not been able to eat. Kuna mtu ambaye amekuwa ana shida hawezi kula. For the last week. Wiki nzima amekuwa hawezi kula. Someone that has not been able to eat for the last week. Who is that? Kuna mtu amekuwa ana shida anakula kwa shida hawezi kula wiki nzima. Yuko wapi? You haven't been able to eat. Umekuwa na shida ya kula. Hallelujah. Kuna appetite. All right, here we go. Okay, tunaomba. I'm going to pray for you right now. Nataka niwaombe sasa nyie. And all the sickness is going to leave your body. Na magonjwa yatawaacha. Kuna watu wa hudumu mkae nyuma ya watu. In the name of Jesus. Kwa jina la Yesu. I curse the sickness. Ninalaani magonjwa. I command the sickness to die right now. Ninaamuru magonjo yafe sasa. I command I curse the virus. Ninakemea vijidudu na vivi. And I command that stomach virus, I command those viruses to die right now. Vijidudu ndani ya tumbo na vijidudu kila mahali na viamuru vife sasa. I command those tumors to go down right now. Na kemea mauvimbe ya nyauke sasa. I command the stomach to be healed right now. Tumbo ziwe nzima sasa. I command the intestines to be healed right now. Kila mahali ambapo naumwa papone. I command the organs to function normal right now. Maungo ya mwili na ya muru yafanye kazi sawa sawa. I command all the pain to leave right now. Na maumivu yote ya kuachie sasa. Out! Toka! Out! Toka! I command every demon spirit to leave the people right now. Out! Na kemea hata mapepo ya chie watu sasa. Out! Toka! In the name of Jesus. Katika jina yesu. Completely free. Toka! Completely healed. Uwe huru na upone. Right now. Sasa. In Jesus name. Katika jina la yesu. Somebody you've got pain right here in this part. Who is that? 
Kuna mtu na una maumivu. Start moving and doing something you couldn't do. Kuna mtu na maumivu kwenye mguu. Those of you check yourself right now. Haya anzeni kujicheke tumeshaomba mwaminini Mungu. Start moving around doing something you couldn't do. Anza kujicheki fanya kile ulichokuwa uweze kufanya. In the name of Jesus this headache is gone. Katika jina la Yesu maumivu ya kichwa tunakuamuru achia. Out. Achia. In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. Who here had problems in their stomach? Nani kati yenu alikuwa na tatizo kwenye tumbo? All right, tell me what's going on with you. Haya, nini kinaendelea? Tuambie sasa. Test it. Nini kinaendelea? Jaribu, nini kinaendelea? Watu wenye mic. Push on. Push on. Jaribu, nini kinaendelea kwenye tumbo lako? Tunajisikia vizuri. Eh? Tunajisikia vizuri nilikuwa nasumbuliwa kwenye kitovu chini ya tumbo. She had the problem here. Yes. But now she's free. She's free. Yeah. Everything is free. The under stomach. Hallelujah. Yes, Everybody say thank you Jesus. That's my God. Jamani, Everything mungu. is gone. Mambo yamekuwa huru. All right. What was wrong with you? Mama wewe tatizo lako lilikuwa nini? Kichu, headache. 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 Headache is everything gone? Sasa unasemaje? Hebu jaribu, tikisa kichwa. Tikisa kichwa kabisa. Hebu tikisa. Eh? Hebu ongea kwenye mic. Unasemaje? She is free. You're free. Everything is gone. Hebu fanya. Everybody say thank you Jesus. Jamani mbona hamna makelele huko? The headache is gone. Jamani mbona hamshangilii? The headache is gone. All right, what about this lady? Mama wewe ulikuwa unasikia nini? 